10.5e solving equations by factoring greatest common factors as factors when solving do not forget that the GCF is a factor also okay if there is no variable this is important in the GCF then we can ignore it Okay, let's take a look at some examples of that. In example one here, first thing I'm noticing is my x's and stuff are not all on one side, so I want to do that. So let's move our 40x over. So we have 4x cubed minus 12x squared minus 40x and that equals zero. I'm noticing that we have a common factor of four and they all have an x so that means that's also a common factor and the lowest exponent is one so it's just a four x that's going to leave us with x squared minus three x minus ten equal to zero so now we have 4x, we'll put our two boxes. Only one fa way of factoring x. Factors of 10 that when we take the difference give us 3. Well, it's going to be a negative 5 and a positive 2. So we have 4x equal to 0, which means x equals 0. We have x plus 2 equal to 0, which means x equals a negative 2. And then we have x minus 5 equal to 0, which means that x equals 5. Our, high, our exponent was a 3, that was our highest exponent. We should have three solutions, and we do. Okay, let's look at our next example. And again, we want to get everything on one side, so I'm going to add 15x and subtract 36. And then I want to make sure that I put it in order. So we're going to have 6x squared plus 15x minus 36 and that equals 0. I notice that we have a common factor of 3. So we pull out the 3. That's going to leave us with 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 equal to 0. Well, let's factor that. Because this is a, just a number, we can totally ignore it. In fact, we can actually just drop it at this point. Um, but this is only when solving. Drop a GCF number when solving only. Okay, so now we're going to go like this, put our two boxes. Only one way of factoring 2x. Okay, let's look at factors of 12. If we tried to use 2 and 6, we would have common factors. So we don't want that one, so we're going to use 3 and 4. And let's see, what do we get? We're taking the difference, so we've got 8x minus 3x, which is going to give us 5. We want 8 to be positive. So we're going to have a plus 4 and a negative 3. So we set 2x minus 3 equal to 0 and x plus 4 equal to 0. Add 3. So we have 2x equal to 3. Divide by 2. I don't have, I'm kind of running out of room there. 
So we're going to get x is equal to 3 halves. On our equation, subtract 4, x equals negative 4. And we have two equations. Our highest exponent was 2, so we should have two solutions.